Okay guys, so now we've actually got to go and make that tree. You might be thinking, oh my god, that's complicated, but it's really just made up of a whole bunch of parts. So what we've really got to do is make the part. Now, I said before that Java has standard classes for these nodes, but the best way to understand it is to make your own. And it's actually the best for uh, just doing these trees in general, just so you know what's going on. Uh, so we're going to make this a name node. And we're going to organize these names by their size. Here we create a left node and make that equal to null. Now, null just simply means that even though we have an object here, it isn't an object. It's not there. It is a blank object. Oh, and we're also going to have to have a name, which doesn't equal anything right now. So name node, name, so we have this name node. And we want to create a method that will add, it'll take in a, no, a node from wherever, either user input or another node, and it'll look at that input and decide whether or not to send it to the left or to the right. So, public void add name node. Well, in in. There we go. First, we gotta create a method that will return the length of the name. Well, we don't have to, but it'll make it a little bit easier. Uh, so this just returns the length of a node. So, when do we want to add the node to the left? Well, first we've got to handle the option of if left isn't even a node yet, if it's null. Well, when left is null, if left null. So if left is null, And if if left is null and in in dot get length is less than get length. And then it'll add It'll make the left node, a left node, equal to an in. And let me just go through what's happening there. So, let me erase all this. We'll have our node up here. We'll just start with this node. So let's say the length of this name is 5. We're going to add another name. And 
And if it is less than five, then we're gonna go down here. So let's say the name is John, J-O-H-N, four letters, so it's four. I'm gonna go down to the left, and oh, this node's empty, we'll add it here. Okay, goes to that node. And now we have a four here. And now we're gonna add the name Sam. So, Sam, it's passed to this node. The node says, hmm, it's less than five, so I'll send it to the left. Oh, but left is filled. So, it just passes it to this node and tells this node to do whatever with it. So, this node decides, oh, well this node's less than me, so I'm gonna send it to the left. So we end up with Sam, which is three, going all the way down here. And you can see how this will organize everything. It'll just trickle down, and each node decides where to send the other node. So let me go and you've got to decide what to do if left does not equal null and it's still less than the current node. We'll ask left to add an in. So make left decide what to do with it in. Uh, and now for right We're going to use greater than or equal to. So, if the right node is null and this node is greater than the current node, then we're going to send the node to the right. Or we're going to make the right node this node. Okay. And so. We're, we'll do the same thing we did with left. If right is not equal to null, and in end.get length is greater than or equal to get length, then well, we don't know what to do with it. We'll pass it to right. Tell right to add it, because we don't know. Um, okay. so it'll just go through, and those are the only four scenarios that each node can handle. But collectively, they can put any node into this tree. Now, creating the link, the uh, array list from this tree. I'll show you guys how to do that. Public array list. I don't think we've actually done this before, but you can return an array list as an object from a uh, method. So let's see. We have this array list here. Uh, what the hell was I gonna do? Oh, we're trying to get list. So, how does it do this? 